Verterum GRC integrations bring together systems and information the clients typically already own to complement GRC systems. Verterum builds integrations for business use cases using existing technology as a foundation. RSA Archer third-party management is a GRC use case that helps organizations optimize their business process to manage, evaluate, and compare vendors, and BitSight security ratings provide a daily measurement of those organizations' security performance, kind of like an information security credit score. Integrating these systems helps organizations consolidate valuable data sources and business processes to enhance the overall vendor management business process. In this short video, we'll cover Verterum's integration between BitSight and Archer. At the center of this integration is an application built by Verterum that serves as an intermediary between BitSight and Archer. It's a custom-coded application that installs in under an hour, and what it does on a scheduled basis is talk to the BitSight website, compile all available data for vendors in your BitSight portfolio, and save the data as a single CSV file. The CSV generated by our connector is then fed into Archer with a single data feed. So whether you have 10 vendors in your BitSight portfolio or 10,000, all you need is the connector and a single data feed to cleanly and scalably bring your BitSight data into the Archer platform. From there, due to the configurability of Archer, you can bake BitSight data into your vendor management activities in a variety of ways. I'll go ahead and walk through some of those possibilities now, including reports and dashboards, automatic email notifications, and automatic finding creation, scoring visualization on application layouts, and vendor assessment question mapping to BitSight categories. First, we created dashboards and reports to visualize BitSight information security scoring data within Archer. The first report shows the BitSight overall score, prior score, and rating change per vendor. We also graphically represent the overall score based on BitSight's scoring tier of basic, intermediate, or advanced. To the right of the report, we're displaying BitSight's compromised systems categories and letter grades. The second report shows the BitSight security rating level alongside the vendor's residual information security risk score. This is the risk rating calculated based on the assessment-driven vendor risk assessment activity that occurs within Archer. The ability to compare these two scores side by side is valuable because BitSight provides regularly updated, objective, quantitative scores, while in Archer, assessments are generally more qualitative in nature and occur on a less frequent basis. Pairing the two together in one system gives you the data you need from both approaches and systems to aid in risk-based decision-making. Lastly, at the bottom of the dashboard are two more reports that show on a percentage basis where your vendors fall from BitSight scoring and Archer scoring perspectives. Let's assume a hypothetical where ABC Audit and Consulting Company's BitSight score drops overnight. For demonstration purposes, I'll kick off a feed that'll make that change for us in real time. Right away at the dashboard level, you'll notice the yellow intermediate bit site level for ABC change from yellow to red. This is a particularly useful visual on the second report, where the Archer score is blue and the bit site score is red. This should prompt some conversation between you and your vendor where you can reach out to let them know there's a discrepancy between the ratings gathered from their SIG responses and the ratings provided by bit site. We also configured automatic email notifications that send when a BitSight score drops to a basic level. Here's an example of a notification, though the actual content is entirely configurable. We chose to include the vendor name, with a link to the record for that vendor, the current and prior ratings and difference between those ratings, and again the reference to the Archer Risk Score. This email reminder is helpful if you aren't a regular Archer user who may have picked up on the rating change on the reports right away. To drive an additional layer of automation, we also incorporated issues management functionality into this integration. Every night a data feed runs to see if there is a vendor with a basic BitSight score without an open finding associated with it. Whenever a vendor meets that criteria, a finding is automatically generated where you can go through the process of vetting the issue and responding to it with either a remediation plan or exception request. To learn more about issues management functionality overall, please see Verterum's video on issue management in Archer. Next, we'll take a quick jump into the third-party profile application to view the remaining pieces of this integration. For a full review of third-party management functionality in Archer, we have a demo video available for you to review. For now, we'll do a very high-level overview. The third-party profile application is the central container for all things vendor in Archer. 
This is where you track subsidiaries and subsubsidiaries for your vendor and add various metadata details and relationship contacts, conduct financial analysis and track fourth party information, document insurance requirements and manage issues, and more. It's also where you document your engagements and view risk ratings, which we'll see quickly now. In Archer, for every engagement, there is a two-phased risk assessment process. First, for each tab across this tab set from compliance and litigation through sustainability, an internal risk assessor at your organization fills out an assessment looking outwards at the vendor that serves to establish an initial risk baseline. Second, a risk assessment goes out to the vendor. Out of the box in Archer, this is called the engagement risk assessment, but organizations typically use a SIG or SIG Lite or homegrown questionnaire for their vendor assessment. The risk assessment follows typical questionnaire functionality in Archer. People are assigned, and the progress and submission status are updated as progress is made. For each question, a selection is chosen, and you can add additional information or attachments per question using the sticky note at the right. To tie this together with BitSight, we work with organizations to map BitSight scoring categories to specific questions on the assessment. If, for example, I want to see this vendor's responses that relate to botnet and malware because the letter grades from BitSight for those categories are low, I can select those categories and filter down the assessment responses to see how the vendor graded themselves in those categories. Like I spoke about a little bit earlier, this can help facilitate a conversation between you and your vendor and help to quickly identify any discrepancies as you work towards a plan for remediation. Lastly, let's take a look at the Risk Ratings tab on the third-party profile. This is where the results of risk assessments completed for all engagements are calculated and stored for review on the application layout. Below the Risk Assessment scores from Archer is where we feed in BitSight data for review and comparison against the Archer scores. Thanks for watching. To learn more about this integration or Verterum's additional GRC offerings, please check out Verterum.com, visit our LinkedIn page, or contact Jack Green, the sales manager at Verterum.